today we're going to talk about major hair mistakes that people tend to make. So let's get into the video. So I recently did a video on like five different things that people do to stunt their growth. We're going to also kind of tie that into in today's video because they kind of play on each other. So a lot of times I see people who tend to not get trims. Trims, 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 trims. That is what I'm going to be talking about on my channel. Health over length. That's what the 2019 hashtag health over length. That's what it is, y'all. So get y'all's trim so that you all can have hair growth. There's no reason to, and I'm not even saying that you have to have a blunt cut because I'm not the blunt cut type of girl. I don't really care for that, but if I see that my ends are needing a trim because they just look raggedy, bent, you know, um, under process or so whatever the case may be, I'm gonna trim my hair. Now there are many people who say, oh, you need to have a blunt cut but I'm not that type of girl. I'm, I don't care for a blunt cut. It does make the hair appear thicker. It does make the hair appear healthier, but at the same time, you don't have to have a blunt cut to get rid of your um, dead ends or split ends. There are products out there, as I've mentioned in um, videos before, and I will list it down below, such as the um, Split Ender Pro 2, that actually just go through the hair and cut just the split ends. And you all know that I've done a video on that, and I've seen like immediate results in it, just cutting off my split ends and it's helped me to keep my length. So get your trims girls, like get your trims. I am one that actually was not getting her trims and I experienced tons of breakage. I experienced tons of tangling and it also keeps you from being able to like blow dry your hair within a good amount of time or wash your hair, detangling your hair. It just takes so much more time in doing your hair because you're trying to get through all of these split ends and breakage and stuff. So just just trim it y'all let it go another hair mistake people do is they jump on every single bandwagon on YouTube that are not even always for you remember there are two hair types low porosity and high porosity so jumping on bandwagons of all these wigs jumping on these bandwagons of all these hair products jumping on these bandwagons of all these protective styles no y'all no 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 you need to cut it Cut it, cut it. <laughs> Everything does not work for everybody. Y'all heard that saying, every conditioner don't work for everybody, every protect protective style don't work for everybody, so stop with the wigs, because they don't work with it for everybody. Stop with these different protective styles that are not protecting your hair. It may be to protecting all of this, but it may not be protecting your, your edges. So it makes no sense. I've been seeing people proud, like proud. Like their hair be long and just, you know, long, but then their edges be gone. Like, what kind of style is that? Like, that's not cute, that's not healthy. Find a protective style that is not putting tension on your hair. Find a protective style that is not causing you to have migraines. Find a protective style that is not causing you to have your edges be receding. Like, find a protective style that's actually protecting your hair. Like, what's the point of protecting your hair if you're not really protecting your hair? It's not a protective style, right? Another major mistake that I see people doing is when, this is more so for my relaxed girls. When you relax your hair, if you're relaxing at home or if you're going to a cosmetologist, first thing first, study your cosmetologist only in the sense of making sure that she knows how to care for your hair. There are certain cosmetologists that are stronger in caring for natural hair or stronger in caring for relaxed hair or stronger in caring for whatever the case may be. So study your cosmetologist. Don't just call up someone and say, hey, you know, I need my hair uh, relaxed. Uh, can you relax my hair? Like, go check it out, see what the salons um, specialize in, what that particular um, cosmetologist specializes in, and see their, their work see the results from whatever they're doing. So just remember, and again, this is from a relaxed girls, that when you are relaxing, whether you're going to a relax, um, a cosmetologist or you're relaxing at home, you're just supposed to relax your new growth. That's the whole point of a relaxer. 
just your new growth. And it's called a relaxer, not a perm. A perm is for Caucasian people or people who have straight hair who want to have their hair curly. A relaxer is for people who have kinky hair, curly, spiral, whatever you want to call it, who want to have their hair straight. So remember, there's a two different difference in the name. Relax, perm. So when you go or when you do your relaxer, just put it on your new growth. You want to start pretty much, I would say this is because I have a lot of new growth. This is where my roots are. So I would start pretty much here in a sense, putting the relaxer on. Let's just say, can you see that? Like right here. And then I will, after I'm done with the rest of my hair, bring it up. So don't put it on your scalp. Do not relax your whole hair shelves. Like I see a lot of people doing that and that's causing a huge, huge mistake in your hair growth because you're over processing the hair that's already been relaxed, which is causing breakage, which is gonna cause split ends on top of that. And you're never gonna see the growth. Your hair is literally growing from your scalp, but it's breaking at the end. So thereby leaving your hair pretty much, most people that I see sometimes, their hair is here or, or shorter. Like black people's hair can grow, there is proof all over YouTube, out in person, that there's proof. When people come up to me, they're like, is that all your hair? Is your hair real? And so on, et cetera. Like, yes. And I, I'm so eager to tell people, like, the different things that I do and the different things that I've um, experienced, even with my journey, because my journey has not been perfect. You all have seen, like, I want to say last year, my hair was almost down to my waist, and I had to cut a lot of it off because there was a, a lot of breakage in the back. So just remember that as relaxed women, we are already putting a strong, strong chemical on our hair. So when you do it, do it right. Read the instructions, study on YouTube, people who are legit cosmetologists doing the right thing. Go in front of a cosmetologist um, salon and see what they're doing, see their work before just jumping onto that. Because I'm gonna tell you now, not all cosmetologists are good at what they do. I'm just saying. There are cosmetologists, like I said, they learn everything. Nails, hair, eyebrows, all of those things. But there are some cosmetologists are just in it for the money like a lot, a lot of people out here in the world. And they don't know how to care for your hair. There may be cosmetologists that are bomb at braiding. But can they take care of your hair prior to putting it in the braids? Not everybody. Not everybody would do that. You need to moisturize and oil your hair and make sure your scalp and your ends are good before you go putting in some braids for months, months, months down the line. So go to someone who knows your hair or when you're doing your relaxer, know what you're doing. Don't damage your hair, boo-boo. Don't. Don't do it. All right, so I've mentioned this on several, 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 several videos. And this is for every hair type, every race. Detangling. I see so many people detangling their hair. Natural girls, Caucasian girls, relaxed girls, curly curl, curly girls <laughs> who go and detangle their hair and they start from like the middle of the shower to the root. Like no boo boo, no, no. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself a wide tooth comb. Start at your ends. Put them in sections. Start at your ends. Like, especially my girls who are natural, who have thick hair, section your hair off. This goes for my relaxed girls and my natural girls more so. When you got that thick hair, girl, that density, section your hair off and start from the bottom to the top. Because if you're gonna constantly start, you're gonna have so much breakage right here. If you start right here, like, and trying to bring it down, you're gonna be breaking, pretty much break, 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 break all the way to the, to the ends. Start at the ends and work your way up to the root. Like, please, 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 you will see results. You will see results because if you comb your hair here, if you've been doing right here or up here, just look down on the floor or look down on the counter or wherever you stand. Put a, a white blanket down if, you, if you're on a carpet. Put a white blanket down and see how much hair falls out from you starting right here. And then on the opposite side, if you want to, start at the end and work your way up and see how much hair will fall out from that. There's gonna be a huge difference. Remember that the ends are the most fragile part of your hair. It is the oldest part of your hair. Remember, this is the, the beginning now from the root a year or whatever ago. So give your, your hair a chance to grow. 
stop breaking it. Stop causing split ends. Start from the ends to the root. It, it, those are all of my mistakes that I see people making on all hair types. Literally, sometimes I am cringing at watching some of some people's videos like, oh, please stop. No, I've done it too, y'all. I have done it. A lot of these things, if not all of these things, I have done in my hair journey or the lack of a journey. I was just doing it and not even thinking twice about it. The thicker that my hair has gotten, I have had to manipulate my journey because I'm like, okay, I can't do this anymore. Anymore. okay I can't do that anymore because it's so thick sectioning has been just so important in my hair journey I remember that my hair was not this thick like my hair has always been thick but not this thick now to the point that I have to have to section off my hair in pretty much everything I do trims conditions like even when it comes down to trying to shampoo my hair I gotta start at certain areas and work my way up because it's just it's just too much hair at one time so I was not trying to bash anybody I was letting you all know what I see and how I can help you all to avoid these mistakes that I see so many people do to this day 2019 I see people doing it and people ask me all the time like how are you how do you grow your hair how are you growing your hair and it's relaxed like there's a way a wheel away so hope you all enjoyed the video make sure you all subscribe like the video turn on your notification bells and also list out any comments that you may have had let me know mistakes that you have made on your journey what have you done and even if you ain't on a journey let me know what you've done or what you're doing <laughs> we will see each other later in the next video bye dolls